Hey guys, welcome back. I am Carlos Guerrero, aka Carlos the Contractor. And if you are familiar watching this, watch this video how experts in the field have many issues before you get into a remodeling project like this one. Let's get started. All right, I'll give you the scoop. The guy's asking 300,000, comps are about 400,000. So okay. we have to make sure that it's in budget. Let's just check it out. Might be able to make a deal today. Right off the bat, it looks like you got some issues around the windows. You got cracks there, cracks there. Oh, you're right. There's cracking there too. One of the things that you gotta wanna watch out with this cracks these are exterior cracks that you could see but how did those cracks start it where did it start because when you start doing the construction that cracks may be coming from a foundation maybe coming from the bolts of the house so this is very concerning just watching all those cracks in the house before you get into this project this is about an inch. Definitely a foundation issue. Major foundation issues here. I tell you right now, there's absolutely no way I could pay 300 for this house. This house is jacked up. You know what? For a thousand square foot house, this is a decent living room. Mm -hmm. There's more cracks on your slab out there. Okay, so right off the bat, all the concrete's cracking, the stucco's cracking, so there's something going on. There's something definitely going on with the foundation and you feel that it's sloping. It seems like it's caving right here. Where? Right in the middle, which makes sense because this is a bearing wall here. Oh yeah. Let's talk about the foundation in this project as you guys could see the house has a lot of cracks the floors are cracking down what the foundation is is basically the rebar the structure the concrete that basically keeps the whole house standing up foundation is the most important thing for a, a building not to collapse so if the foundation is strong what happens is the house starts shifting everything starts cracking so this house is going through major foundation issues and they're gonna have to basically open up the floors open up the walls and really take a look at the foundation on the floor two feet on there to see what's going on and what's causing all the foundation to follow through right here man see from here this way oh it's sinking you got foundation issues here so already right away we have big ticket items Mm -hmm. Foundation repairs are going to cost at least 12 grand. Mm -hmm. He's just guessing. There's no way that he's going to throw a number like that. The only way to get a real number of how much it's going to cost is basically exposing the floors, opening up and having somebody take a look at the foundation and see what is the scope of work that's going to come out and get a price because there's no way that you're going to throw a number out there and, and guess the number. So that is going to be a big surprise later down the line. Let's check it out. Based on the existing layout, the kitchen's going to cost about $7,000. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Oh, wow. All of that has termite, it's dry rotted, and you got some plumbing issues on top of your foundation issues. Sounds like we might need a repipe here. What do you think it's going to run? Because it's a raised foundation, about a thousand square feet. A repipe will run you about 3,500. So it's getting expensive already. Yeah. Oh my God. So on top of foundation, on top of plumbing, looks like you have some roof issues as well. This is really bad. Like all, all, the, all the, the guts of the house, the bones of the house, everything's roof. Not only they have foundation issues, but they also have roofing issues. Whenever you see the roof falling, the drywall falling, is because at some point the house had water damage water is going through the roof and it's causing the drywall to basically drop so now they have to fix the foundation and they have to fix the roof and now what they don't show and what you cannot see right now is between the drywall and the actual roof you have what's called attic space so in between the attic space you don't know if the trusses are rotten the trusses are basically the structure of the house that basically holds everything together in the roof so be aware this is how it gets so prices and budgets go out the way mm -hmm. so it's not just cosmetic at all. Well, a new roof on this house is probably what seven thousand, eight thousand. About that. I see another bathroom. Oh, good. They have some major, major foundation and water damage problems. Weird. This thing is falling apart here. Tiny. This is really weird. And all your tiles coming out. Yeah. Here. Weird. Now it sounds like the house also is on a crawl space, meaning you have the foundation on the ground. Then you're gonna have little footing and little blocks and little columns. Then you have the house sitting on top creating a crawl space in between the base of the house and the ground this it's easier to get underground to make these fixes but it's also complicated imagine trying to work in the crawl space so you're gonna have to rip up all the floors up and the sheeting to expose everything which is gonna increase the cost on fixing plus putting everything back together here so this is a full gut yeah. and the subfloor and how much you think i'd add another eight grand to your bill and this is a small area i don't know you'd, you'd consider changing the layout here <laughs> so there's your uh, heater. You think it works? Yeah. <laughs> and it smells like gas. Yes, it does. So you got to add a new heater now. They definitely want to change the layout. I mean, that's the first thing you want to do. If you're going to go through a major remodeling like this, you have to change the layout to make things more appealing to you or to the person you're going to sell the house to. Definitely change the layout. Too small. Well, the owner said it needed a little bit of work, but he didn't mention the house literally falling apart. <laughs> hey, Dave, this is Tarek El Musa. I'm at your, uh, your property here in Torrance we spoke about. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tarek. How's it going? I 
can't pay the three hundred thousand dollars. It's just it's a lot of work. So I'd have to come in at two hundred and fifty thousand. Two fifty. I think that's a little low. I'm gonna need a day or two to think about this. I'll be in touch. All right. The seller countered our offer at two hundred and seventy thousand dollars, and we accept it. Even though we paid more for the house, I still believe we can get a really good return. While we wait to get our foundation report back, it's time for demo. All right. So he put a eighty thousand dollar budget on this house. I don't see how they're gonna get to that eighty. They're gonna go over eighty thousand dollars, in my personal opinion. It's just the house is just gonna have so many surprises. When a house is this bad that you don't know what's behind the walls, what's on the roof, what's on the ground, there's just gonna be more surprises coming out and you have to be ready for this. You have to increase your budget, make sure you have enough in the budget to cover the surprises that are gonna come up. Now, as far as doing a budget for this house, if you're an experienced and you're not a contractor, you know somebody in the field, you definitely wanna be bring a contractor. Like this guy, he brought a contractor to kind of give him prices. So once you have an idea, a range, cause that's all you're gonna be getting at the beginning because if there's no scope of work finalized, then it's really hard to get a, a price. But once you have a budget, you wanna go ahead and add at least 20 to 30% more to the budget for your unforeseen stuff. And you also wanna add at least more time in your time frame to make sure you get covered and you're okay to go. Let's keep watching. So what's up, Izzy? What's going on with all these cracks? We got the foundation company out. Okay. And we got all our weak points right here. Your garage is slowly sinking. The house is connected to the garage, so it's pulling the house with it. If we stay Stabilize the garage, it'll keep the house from pulling away. We're gonna have to put at least four piers so that we can stabilize this side of the house. What's that gonna run? You're looking at about 3,500 each one. Wow, really? Our initial $80,000 budget just went up. The problem that his budget is based on cosmetic stuff, making the house pretty so he could flip it. See, he's an investor. What he wants to do, if he wants to do it quick and now we flip it. You as a homeowner, you wanna make sure that you do the house right. You wanna make sure that your house is gonna last you for many years to increase the value in the house and have equity in asset. When you go and sell your house, you get your money back. So it is very, very, very important that when you have a house in this bad shape, you have to add 30, 40% in your budget just for the surprises that are gonna come up. He's a very experienced guy and the fact that he undervalued gives me a, how much experience do you really have? But he's very experienced, so can say anything. $14,000. We own this house and at this point, we have no other it, it option TV, but to fix so. the foundation. And on top of all- Even though this guy's experienced, you see how an expert goes goes under the budget. That's why for you guys, have a fair enough budget, get maybe two or three contractors out there to give you a general price and then add to your budget just to be safe. Find out if we need a new roof. We're gonna do a water test on there. How are we gonna do that? I got a guy up there, we pour water on there. Are you serious right now? Let's throw some water on there and see what else. Yeah, this guy. If you're gonna do a water test, you gotta get a hose, not a bucket. Come on guys, this is like chapter one, a bucket of water. <laughs> Crazy man, get a hose up there. I hope there's no water. Okay, I don't see any water, that's good news. Yeah, we just start pouring rain. Looks like that did a repair then. It's not working. We finally caught a break here, but with the money we saved on the roof, I really want to build a killer master suite. And Izzy's got some great ideas to make. A bucket of water, really? <laughs> oh my God, I can't. What happens is a bucket of water is basically just a bucket of water. When it starts pouring rain in rainy season, that's when the water really comes in. He might get away with it because they're in California, maybe there's a rain, he'll flip the house, he'll sell the house. And then when the owner buys the house, rainy season starts, that's when they, they'll get the leak. He might get away with murder. 2,800 bucks. This used to be the door to the bathroom. Bathroom. Okay. Okay. And then the bathroom actually ended about right here. Okay. And that was the closet. So we created this much more space by just removing a closet. And it gave us an extra like four or five feet. So glad you made that decision because it's well worth it. Yeah. I was a little nervous to see this house because we're spending so much money, but it looked great. Now I just hope that Tark has a good design plan. Your samples look really nice. I did a good job here. <laughs> so let me let me tell you the theme I was thinking because you weren't with. Um, thinking lighter, brighter, more contemporary. But here are the options for the floor. I kind of like that. I think this one's too purple. Okay. This one's too light. I like this one a lot. And I think if we go with this one, we should run it through the kitchen too, because it's really nice. Okay. So I like this one because this one has gray. That goes with, out. With brown in it too. Let's take a look at this. I love the idea of gray. Now, when you're in the design phase of choosing, selecting your colors, even though this is going to be your house for you as a homeowner, you still want to stay with like a natural look because if you decide or when you decide to sell and exit this house, you want to make sure that this house House, keeps the value and has a lot of buyers interested in the house that you're selecting. Sometimes you go into houses and they're very specific because the owners that live in the house, they kind of like, they're very specific to their taste, but that scares a lot of people away. So just keep it natural, keep it light, keep it bright. That's always a good design stop. Right. Uh, with this color flooring, I don't think it's gonna work. I agree. I think it just kind of blends too much with this flooring, which I'm obsessed with. I think the white just pops a lot more. Then we should go with dark great quartz counter. 
hours. I feel like maybe for the bathrooms, what if we did something different? You're thinking more modern. What if we did floating cabinets? Yeah, no, I'm fine with that. So what color would you want to do? The darker cabinets. I think they have one that's like a brownish gray. And then we can do the white counters and then do a nice, really pretty modern mosaic tile band. Okay. All this used to be block wall at your feet and it was only about this high. So the plan now is Israel to put a six foot tall horizontal fence to get some privacy here. I actually like the idea because I feel like this is a really good selling feature. This could be a cute porch and then you have that driveway area. You actually have a big yard. So I feel like if there's some privacy here, it'll be really nice. And plus, I love horizontal fencing. So let's do it. Every house needs to have a curve appeal. That's the first thing people are going to look when they drive to the house, whether it's for you or for yourself. You want to drive into your house and pull into a nice step looking house. So good job on the design for changing the curve appeal. Okay, the new fence is done. Honestly, I love the fence. I feel like it's transformed the way the whole house looks. And now we have our private patio off the kitchen. The current color looks really cool. And then if we paint all this, maybe like a dark gray, we can carry that over and do, you know, maybe like a dark gray front door and then the trim white and the body of the house, just like a light gray. Cause I kind of feel like that gives a flow of what's going on on the inside. All right, I love it. We invested over $370,000 on a flip in Torrance, California. The highest comp in our neighborhood just closed for 400 grand. But with very low inventory in the area and a lot of amazing upgrades, we think buyers will find way more value in our turnkey home. I think the house is worth in the mid fours. I think we come in at 449.9. I actually think we're gonna get offers. I think we might sell for full price, but I'm concerned about the appraisal because if the appraiser uses the 400 comp, we're in big trouble. Well, all we can do is list for 449.9 and see what happens. So as you as a homeowner, right? If you're gonna renovate your house, remodel your house, you're buying the house to do it for yourself, you don't really have to worry about the sell value because most likely you're gonna be in this house for five, 10 years. And by that time comes, you already build enough equity to pay the back and more. But it is really important to make the right decisions and make the right repairs, the structurally foundation roof. So that is the shelf of your house. And it's very important, not just for the house to last, but also for safety. Safety first, then make the investment on the pretty stuff or creating the layout. In this particular house, it had a lot of safety issues that I would have been afraid. I don't know how they fixed the issues, but they fixed it. They went over budget $20,000, which is not bad. The way the house was shown at the beginning. So let's see what happens. Okay, look at this. Amazing. Look how cute it looks staged. Oh, look at the show. Oh, Buyers are gonna be obsessed with that. It gives it like a really cute homey feel. Yeah. It's definitely a showpiece. All the other houses out there, they're really cookie cutter. At least with this house, there's some character. So I think we did a lot of good things here. I wanna see the master bathroom. So when you sell the house, you wanna make sure that you stage the house. That staging is gonna make that whole house feel a lot bigger. So that make it feel more modern, cleaner. A lot of times when people walk into empty spaces, number one, there's echo around. You're walking around, there's an echo, it sounds bad. Number two, they kind of visualize where they're gonna be living in the house, how they're gonna be enjoying their home without furniture. So it's a great idea to stage the house before you sell it. Always will get your return on investment back on that. It's gonna get us a higher sales price for sure. No, 100%, it's beautiful in here. House looks great. Yeah. yeah. Let's get ready. All right. Now let's talk about cosmetic. You always wanna invest in your kitchens and your bathrooms. That is your number one investment. You will always get the money back. Stick to a, a nice design. If you stick to a nice layout, you'll get the money back all the time. Great investment. Beautiful in here. House looks great. Yeah. Let's get ready. All right. Fresh paint looks nice. This sounds nice. Like it. Hi, come on in. Hi. I'm Tariq. Nice to meet you. Trusty net. I'm a real estate agent. Sure am. You have some buyers looking in the area? I do. I do. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's about 1,100 square feet. I'm going to bring my buyers on Saturday if I like what I see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. The floors are great. Nice, rustic, yet modern feel to them. Love the grays. Love the mosaic tile. It's exactly what I want to eat in the bathroom, actually. Master bedroom. Kind of small. Great bathroom. Nicely done in the shower. Oh, how cute. Good size yard. The fence is great. Some privacy. Nice little patio. Overall, they did a great design. They know what they're doing. They have the right materials. They have the right people. So now it's just a matter of fact, they're going to sell the house and move to the next one. After only a week on the market, we were shocked to receive multiple offers, which drove the price up to $460,000. Wow. Amazing. Time to find another house flip. So yeah, guys, great video for you guys to see the importance on budgeting from the beginning and the surprises. Imagine this. They're experts. They go over budget. All those prices that come up also creates time in the schedule. Before you get into a project like this, make sure that you do your numbers well. You add a little extra cushion for time and budget. And if you need help, you could follow us at homeremotomiami.com and we'll help you. Can't stop, won't stop. Let's go.